Hey everybody, in this video, I'm going to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of your communication by teaching you how to mirror text in PowerPoint. There are two reasons you might want to do this. The first is to create the visual effect that you see on the screen here, or if you use teleprompter kits um, to create the effect so the text is reading the correct way when it's reflected back to you in the mirror of a teleprompter. Now, because I assume many viewers are not likely to be those that are using teleprompters. I'm going to teach you first how to create this just visual effect because you might want to use that in your own PowerPoint. Following that, I will explain to you why I created this video primarily, which is for the teleprompter software and how aggravating it is to see so many terrible YouTubes on mirroring text. Okay, so to create the text effect, you can just put some text on the screen. The best way to do this is to go to insert and then obviously do this through text box. Of course you could do it with the standard slide options that you have, but don't recommend that. So once you have some text there, all you need to do is to copy and paste. So I'm gonna hit the Control C, Control V, hotkeys. I'm gonna align the text sort of where I want it. And then what I'm going to do is very simply, I'm going to right click on this. I'm gonna to go to Format Shape. I'm gonna go here to this icon, which is the Effects. If it's not already on there, it might be up here with shadow. So what you're going to want to do is to go down and hit on 3D rotation. Click on that. Change the X axis to 180. And there you go. The next thing you would want to do then is to create the vertical flip. To do that, you can go to shape format, rotate, flip vertical. And that's all you really need to do. Again, for some re-illustration, you're going to create a text box. You can right click, go to Format Shape, go here to Effects, 180. And if you wanna flip it vertically, you can do that as well. So obviously I could reverse the process. No vertical flip. And there you go. Okay, so that's how you're going to create that visual effect. Obviously you can format it however you want in color and so forth. So the other reason that you might want to flip the text is for use in a teleprompter format. So let's assume that this is my text for the teleprompter and I want this to be able to, I wanna click through it as I'm you know, talking. Maybe I'm gonna speak extemporaneously. Maybe I sort of want a uh, exact verbatim text. It does not matter. I can create these in slides. now. The reason this is important is because if you just have this and you put it into a device, let's say a tablet like I have here, it's going to be read incorrectly, right? It looks backwards when I'm looking at it through the mirror of a teleprompter. What you're aiming for is obviously this effect. So in order to do that, okay, so in order to do this, it makes sense that you might go to YouTube and say, okay, I wanna search for PowerPoint as teleprompter, and then you're gonna find all of these videos that are not efficient and not effective at all. For example, this one here is going to teach you how to create the effect of scrolling text using animation, which by the way is also very helpful, but it's not as effective as doing what I'm going to teach you here, or at least not as efficient. The next thing is you could basically follow this one, which is going to show you how to do it while setting it up for the effect of recording your camera on top. That's probably a use case that some of you might have. The other one here is, let's show you an actual device that we've built that will do it. Now this one would make sense if you wanna easily flip your entire like image. So you have PowerPoint slides that are very like, you know, graphically enhanced, but I can even show you if you want me to put a comment in the comments and if you want to see a video on how to actually do that, in PowerPoint pretty efficiently without expensive uh, hardware, let me know. This video here sort of walks you through this process of using like a, Adobe Photoshop or some product where you have to like save it as an image, import it, flip it. I mean, it was just so convoluted and inefficient. Um, same with this video here. It's teaching you how to use their software for it. Long story short, not going to be as efficient as doing exactly what I've already taught you, which is essentially to take the text, right click on it, format shape, effects, rotate 180, and now it is done. All I need to do now is 
have my device updated. And by the way, if you are using Microsoft Office 365, right, I could be making edits on my laptop and then that's automatically updating on my Samsung here. Like in my case, Samsung Android device where I'm just using PowerPoint app. And if I make any changes on my laptop, it'll automatically update there. So it's as easy as that. So there you have it, that's how you mirror text in PowerPoint, either for visual effect or for use in a teleprompter. If you found this video helpful, I hope that you will like it and share it. If you feel like this is content that you will get value out of going forward, go ahead and hit the subscription button as well as the notification bell so that you are notified every time that I upload new content, which deals with how to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of your communication so that you can become more competent either in the workplace or elsewhere. Take care.